Hi, so you've clicked on this video wanting to be a faster, better guitar player. Well, probably most of you are going to be running from the hills in a few moments because this isn't going to be your usual, here's a magic lick or a magic loophole that you haven't thought of. Um, I want to ask you an honest question. You want to be a faster guitar player, you want to be a better guitar player. What do you think you need to do? What do you think you need to do that you haven't already done so far? What do you think is going to make the difference? Is it going to be some magic hack or loophole that you're going to find in a video somewhere that you haven't thought of so far? Or is it something else a little bit closer to home? And that's what we're going to get into in this video. So those of you that have got the cojones to go down this route with me, stay along. Those of you who've got a three second attention span and just want some stupid ass magic exercise to distract yourself with, go and find another video because this ain't the one. There is no magic loophole. There's no magic hack that's being held back from you that's only accessible if you're in the brotherhood, man, or anything like that. It's, you'd be surprised that what you actually need to do, guys, is really, really mundane. It's so ordinary, it's not funny. It's just an ordinary task. Whatever it is that you need to do, it's stupidly mundane. Yeah, and, and that's the problem. A lot of people think, surely it can't be that. Surely this can't really be it. Isn't there something that you're holding back from me? Uh, surely there's some other trick or hack or some sort of angle that you just haven't told me yet that I could do. And if I could just do that, I would be able to do the thing that I want to do. And it's like that attitude of, what else have you got for me? What else have you got to give me that I can try that might magically uh, do everything for me without me having to put in the effort. And, and what they're really saying is, I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to be, I've got to go and work on my hammer-ons and pull-offs. I don't want it to be that. I want it to be some other magical problem because then I can spend all my days looking up videos on YouTube or, or spend hours on forums talking about fucking angles and stupid shit with people, wasting all my time pretending I'm dealing with my problems when in actual fact I'm just avoiding practicing. I'm avoiding doing the one thing which would actually make my guitar playing better. And chances are, I've told you already what your problem is, right? Fretting hand, picking hand. It's one of those. It's not going to be your ass. It's not going to be your nose or your ankle or your knob, right? It's your fretting hand or it's your picking hand. Maybe it's both. In there is the solution to the thing that's holding you back. You've just got to do it. It's that simple. So your task, the thing you don't want to face, is the thing you need to do. The thing you're avoiding is the thing you need to do. So if you know your fretting hand is really weak, your hammer-ons suck, you can't do triplets to save your life, your timing is terrible, you don't know how to use your little finger, guess what? What am I going to tell you to do? I'm going to tell you to do that shit. I'm not going to say, oh, here's a magic loophole which if you do this, you don't have to do all that shit. It will just magically work because I've given you the secret brotherhood Illuminati hack number 63. It doesn't work that way. The stuff you've got to do, guys, is fucking mundane. Sorry, it's mundane. It's ordinary shit. You know, it's not magic. It's going to be really ordinary and you've just got to do it. And it's a physical task. So you've got to sit your butt down wherever you sit your butt down to play your guitar and just do it. And don't do it half-heartedly. Don't do it in that stupid ass automatic way where you're just cycling stuff like a robot. Because that's a pet hate of mine as well. I've made a video about that subject too. Where I said about, you know, the whole automatic just cycling shit in front of the TV is a waste of your time. That stuff is only worthwhile if you know you're already practicing something correctly. If you can already do something with no problems, then cycling it is fine. Reps is good, right? But if you have a technical issue which you cannot get past, that means there's a problem somewhere. There's a bottleneck. You need to find out what it is and you need to actively be involved with solving the problem in the moment with your intent on solving the problem. So when you practice, each rep you do, you've got to be thinking, where's the bit I keep fucking up on? What's the note that's not clear? Which is the note that needs to be clear? Which is the bit, the note that I keep missing? All right? And every time you do it, you focus on getting that thing 
that you're supposed to be getting instead of just cycling uh, automatically because you're just cycling the, the problems and you're not act actively focused on the improvement. It's a process of honing. That's why I say you have to have intent in the moment to solve a technical problem. It doesn't get solved automatically by just cycling bullshit in front of the TV. That's a different thing. Yeah, and people don't understand that. I think some people, A, are just fucking stupid. And two, are deliberately misunderstanding me because they want to justify their practice, which is literally just cycling boring stuff without having to really put any effort in or be there or think about what they're doing or apply themselves in any way. And a lot of people just want to justify staying where they are instead of doing the thing they need to do. Right, so let's go back. Do your hammer-on suck? Fucking work on them. Do your pull off suck? Work on them. Right? Does your hand sync suck? Guess what? You know, is it a three note per string legato? Guess what? You know, can't use your pinky? Well, guess what you need to do? Right? Is it your picking hand? You need to work on that. Whatever it is, you need to find the problem and work on it. You know, it's not going to be solved by an exercise itself. Exercises don't actually do anything. Yeah, because an exercise is, is not an actual real thing, it's passive. It's not a real thing that's going to come to your house and do something for you, right? It doesn't move your body. You do that. You make the difference by applying something, being there in the moment with your intent and making it happen. So if you know what the task is that's right in front of you, the one that you're avoiding and you know you're avoiding it, if the task is in front of you and you know what it is, but you are not doing anything about it and you're still searching content on YouTube, watching videos, then you're deliberately just trying to be distracted. You want to be distracted away from the task and pretending it's something else because whilst you're wanting the problem to be something else, you can chase the phantom. You can keep chasing that phantom by watching content, going on forums, talking about this, that, the other, instead of just doing the thing. And I promise you, if you just did the thing that you've got to do, you'd get done a lot quicker. You'd actually be spending less time on trying to solve this problem because, you know, a few days, a few weeks on working on the thing that you're avoiding is going to get you further from, you know, a month from now, you're going to be way further ahead than if you continue doing what you're doing, which is finding phantom problems. So as I said, look, it's either your fretting hand or it's your picking hand or it's both. Find it, whatever you lack, give it to yourself. End of story, period, that's it. And look, I really do suspect that a lot of you do, do genuinely know what the thing is you should be doing, but you're just avoiding it, you know, because it's too tempting to just chase other stuff and get distracted. And look, if you still don't know exactly where to focus your attention or where your problem is, then seriously, sorting the fretting hand out and sorting your picking that hand out is going to automatically address those. Seriously, nothing bad is ever going to happen because you've got an amazing legato technique with hammer-ons and pull-offs that are in time. You've got good timing because you've got the strength in your fingers to keep time with a metronome instead of it getting left behind or the opposite area, which is people deliberately speeding the hands up to, to hurry through the exercise or whatever they're playing. If you sort that fretting hand out, you're going to be sorting the problem out, whatever it is. And then the same with the picking hand. Just go to it. Give yourself what you need. If you lack speed, go through all my videos about tremolo picking. Sort that stuff out. Sort the speed picking out. The string crossing. If you need that stuff, go grab it. I've got all that stuff if you need it, right? But the bottom line is, the problem is somewhere within these two hands. As I said before, it's not your ass, it's not your kneecap, your face, your toe. It's one of these, right? So if you act as if, go sort these out. Your problem will get solved automatically by sorting those out. You know, get those hands as good as they need to be. And one thing that's going to help you with that is having the right mindset as well. So a lot of what I talked about, people don't do. They avoid stuff because mentally, they're not kicking themselves at the butt to go and do it or mentally they don't feel ready or there's some negative beliefs that they're dealing with. A lot of, you know, I don't feel good enough or people like me can't do this and, and what if, what if I try that and it doesn't work. There's a lot of those negative beliefs. And look guys, I'm going to help you out with that, right? For the first time ever, the Tower of Badass Guitar is an ebook. It's available on Amazon and it's still available on Amazon. You can go and get it there if you want to. But for the first time ever, I'm making this completely free, right? So you can click the link below go and grab that. If you're struggling to get your ass motivated in practicing this stuff, this is going to give you a massive kick up the posterior, right? So this is going to be my size 
11s giving you a massive kick up the behind so you can go and just get this stuff done. Just do it because I'll be honest, dudes, consuming content is great but what really makes the difference is taking action and that is the one thing I want to get everybody to do. You know, I don't want you watching my videos just for the sake of it. This isn't entertainment. You know, I don't think anyone would be entertained. Anyway, if you are entertained, that's really amazing, dude. But seriously, this is about getting you to take action, all right? Take action. So get the towel. It's free. But if you're not going to go through it, don't get it. I don't want you to get it just for the sake of getting free content, you know? There's a lot of people out there, they see something, it's free, they'll just grab it just for the sake of it. Don't grab shit just because it's free shit. It's like hoarding. Nothing changes, you've just got more shit, all right? So don't be one of those people that just gets more shit because it's free and then you end up with loads of free shit on your device that you never use. Get it, put it to work, live it, put it into action, I tell you man, that shift in your mindset is gonna do way more for your guitar playing than watching 10 videos of more picking exercises, seriously, because that doesn't make the difference. If it's, not made, if it's not solved your problems up to this point, why is consuming more licks gonna solve your problems? It's not, something different is needed and that is your mental attitude and you just need to kick up the ass and you've got to do that for yourself and I'm gonna help you do that. So go and get the towel. I'll put it in the um, info description. And I'll put a comment, I'll pin it at the top so you can go and get it there, all right? So it's very easy, scroll down, use that little digit of yours, boom, click it, go and get it, all right? So you know your duty. So the task that is immediately in front of you, go and get the towel of Badass Guitar, read the hell out of that, and then get working on those bad boys and solve your problems, all right? Take action, no excuses, take no shit, the only opponent is within.